Dear parents, when we get parents coming in with their children, we often get asked this question, Doctor, you're sure my child does not have a lazy eye? And then I always wonder, where did they hear this word, the lazy eye? And I thought I wanted to make this video to try to make all of you aware of what a lazy eye is. And I will do it as simply as I can. I will start with a story. Let's imagine there's a new newborn child. The child is completely normal, eyes are normal. And we patch one eye of the child. We cover it with a patch, eye patch. And we remove that patch when the child is nine years old. What will happen to that child is that the eye that was patched will have no vision. Please remember the child is otherwise normal, the eye is normal, but because of the patch, the visual development that was supposed to happen in the first eight years of life did not happen. And now the eye does not have any vision. Usually visual development happens in the first eight or nine years of life. So if for whatever reason, visual development gets obstructed in these years, then the development of the eye of the vision in that eye is permanently affected. If somebody, somebody comes to us at after 10 years of age, we can't really do too much to improve the vision of that child. So lazy eye thus is a condition in which there is less vision in one eye in spite of the eye being totally normal. This less vision could be because of many reasons. Let's one reason could be a child has a, is born with the one-sided cataract. One eye has a cataract. Now, if we don't treat the cataract, the cataract is nothing, is, is like a patch basically. So, if you have a cataract in one eye and you don't treat that cataract for a, for a child, then the cataract has behaved like a patch and the, there will be no visual development. Similarly, if the child has a squint, so if one eye is looking straight and if one eye is looking like this, then this eye is behaving as if it's patched and therefore they will not have vision. Another example, if a child has glasses, but the number in each eye is very different, then the, and the child is not wearing glasses. So the child has to wear glasses, not wearing glasses, but the number is very different. The eye with the higher number is behaving like an eye with a patch. So when this happens, we need to actually treat children with lazy eye at a very early age. If the child has weak vision in one eye, the child will not complain that he or she cannot see because the other eye is doing all the work. The child does not know any better. The child thinks that everybody around him or her is seeing the same way. So the child thinks that I can see with one eye very clearly all my activities I can do. I don't have a problem. I don't need to complain. Parents think everything is okay. Nobody comes to a clinic for a routine eye examination. And then when the child goes to higher standards in school, they suddenly figure out one day that the child cannot see. The importance of this video is to know that just because a child does not complain does not mean he or she can see with both eyes equally well. The child may have this condition called the lazy eye. The idea is not to scare you. The idea is to make you aware that it is very, very important to get a routine eye examination. Usually we examine children as soon as they are born. Most of the time this examination is even done by your pediatrician. And then we start examining children at two years of age, four years of age, six years of age. If children have glasses, we may examine them every year. So keep the word lazy eye in mind so that you know when you are getting a routine eye examination, this is the number one condition that you are trying to rule out for your children. Subscribe to our channel to see more videos related to your eye care. Thank you for watching.